So, everybody. Hey, Draymond, over here. What, what sort of sparked your defense in the second half? They only scored 42 points. I don't think they scored at all the first three or four minutes of the fourth quarter. And how much of that started with Kavon? Uh, everything started with Kavon. Um, you know, I think all series we've done a good job of defending in the half court. So number one, uh, what sparked our defense is taking care of the ball. Uh, not turning the ball over, allowing them to get out of transition, and they had to play against our half court defense. Um, for the most part of our series, our half court defense has been good. Um, but we've given them transition opportunities, and then also second chance points. So where it started with Loon, that was dominating the glass. Uh, once we dominated the glass, then it allowed us to show how good our defense had been. And you know, once we did that, it allowed us to set our offense, get good offensive possessions, and we connected the game together. But Kevon Looney was huge. Uh, Andrew Wiggins, incredible defense. Everybody started boxing out. It was great. GP came off the bench. Um, he was really into Malik Monk. And, uh, you know, we stuck with our game plan, and, and it, it ended up working for us. Draymond, some people doubt if championship DNA is a real thing. Did we just see an example of it? This, uh, I mean, I think it's a real thing. Um, you know, some some people are you just cut a little differently. You made you made a little differently, and you know then you talk about that DNA, that experience. Um, you know, we leaned into that today, but you got to give those guys a lot of credit. Um, starting with the head of the snake, Mike Brown, uh, to come to an organization that hasn't seen the playoffs in 16 years, and put the team together or bring the team together the way he did uh, is absolutely incredible. So you give Mike Brown credit. Uh, De'Aaron Fox being the head of the snake from a player perspective. Um, led his guys, uh, tough, tough player. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the futures of this league. And you know, this won't be the last we see of Fox. This won't be the last we see of the Kings. Um, you know, they're headed in the right direction. And you got to give them a lot of credit. So it was. Uh, I'm honored to have played in that series, uh, to play in this hostile environment. The fans were incredible. Um, you know, as I continue to uh, progress in my career, you appreciate these moments. You know, you appreciate fan bases like this, loud before the game, loud when the game start, loud after the game. You have a strong appreciation for environments like this. So I'm very thankful to have played in this series. It was a. Um, it was a fun one for us. Draymond, Steph is the first player ever dropped 50 in a game seven. Um, can you sense when he's going to have a big game and lock it and really kind of will you guys in a way that he did tonight? Yeah, I knew um, he'd be locked in. Uh, <clears throat> you know, when you have an opportunity like tonight, game seven, we, had to, we haven't had this opportunity many times. I think this was our fifth one. Um, we played over 30 series, and this is our fifth game seven, so they're rare. Um, when you have rare situations, rare players do rare things. And Steph Curry was that tonight. Uh, he was absolutely amazing. Uh, he controlled the tempo of the game, controlled the pace. Um, no turnovers. I think he had one turnover the entire game. He had the ball the whole game. Uh, just his, you can tell when he's locked in and he's laser focused, um, there's not many defenses in the world that can stop. Hey, Draymond. Uh, you, know, you and Darren had a nice smack talk going throughout the, this entire series. And after the game, some, you guys had a nice moment together. If you don't mind sharing what you said to him in that moment. Uh, just pay my respect. You know, um, I've been in a lot of playoff series against a lot of different guys. And if I'm honest, you leave most with less respect for a lot of guys. You know, whether it's, you know, how they act in the moment, how they step up to the pressure. I've lost a lot of respect for guys over the years in the playoffs. And then there are some that you gain respect for. There are some that you, you know, you see and you, you know they're cut from that same cloth you feel like you're cut from. And Fox is one of those guys. Um, and so I just paid my respect, man. Um, you know, hard fought battles. Obviously, he's on the wrong end of it. We've been there before. Like, I've been um, to a game seven and lost in the first round. That was my second year in the league. We did that against the Clippers. And <clears throat> it's a part of it. You know, you have to go through that to ultimately reach where you want to go. And so, 
I was really just showing my love and respect for him as a competitor. Uh, I was honored to compete against him today. I was just serious. Jeremy, you kind of alluded to my question when you were answering Maddie's. You guys have played in, this is your fifth game seven. All of them are pretty famous now. The Clippers won, it's at Cleveland beating OKC, and then against the Rockets. Where does this fall just in levels of like gratification, watching what Steph did? Clay said this is Steph Cur the Steph Curry game of game seven. Yeah. Um... I mean, you know, when, when you're in the moment of something, that's always going to feel bigger, I think. Uh, and so being in this moment right now, like, this feels like the biggest one. Quite frankly, the performance Steph put on, um, you look at all the things that we've gone through this year as a team, um, to win game five here and then go home and lay an egg, to then come back here on the road and have to do it all over again, and do it even better than you did it in game five, which was very impressive. I think that speaks, um, you know, that speaks volumes. Now you, you talk about the last dance, the this, the that, um, and that takes things up another couple of notches, you know? So this one definitely feels special, um, you know, to, to watch Steph have the game that he had, uh, total domination. Those are the moments that, you know, I'm a basketball fan, you know, as a fan, you can appreciate as a teammate. That's the guy you want to go to war with. You know those guys, not just Steph. You know the guys that we went. That's the guys you want to go to war with. But the way he performed, man, like he left no doubt. And I think that's a beautiful thing. You know we always talk about Game Seven and you know how big that is in sports. And to see a goat leave no doubt, it's absolutely incredible. Very quick turnaround uh, for Tuesday night. Just early thoughts on series against the Lakers. Totally different team, um, you know, than they've been the last couple years. Uh, since they've made those trades at the deadline, they've been an incredible team. I think they finished this um, regular season 20 and nine. Uh, LeBron is playing more off the ball than he ever has in his career, uh, which is, I applaud. Uh, you know, it's, it's hard for a guy like that to make that transition. And he's seamlessly done it. and and. You know, it's helped their team. Uh, not that LeBron holding the ball is a problem, but it's just allowed other guys to do more. So <clears throat> they're playing with confidence. Austin Reeves is playing with a ton of confidence. Uh, he's playing great basketball. Rui Hachimura is playing with a ton of confidence. AD is obviously AD. LeBron is LeBron. D'Lo uh, has got it going those last couple games over the course of their, their last series. Uh, they, they have a bench. Um, you know, so it'll be a tough series. Uh, it's, that's what you expect as you move forward in the playoffs. But we're going up against a very good team. Um, you know, looking forward to getting our game plan tomorrow, whatever that's going to be, and then you know, starting to put it to work on Tuesday. But it's a quick turnaround, so uh, maximizing your recovery is important for us. Draymond, of course, you guys, you know, you got the first two games at home, though. But uh, and, uh, we talked to uh, Steve earlier about you know the regular season record, which he said you know shouldn't even be talked about, and you have won your last two uh, road wins in the playoffs both here in this building. Just wanted to get your commentary on, you know, how you guys are playing and want to continue playing on the road. Yeah. Uh, what was our regular season record overall? 11 and 30. Uh, 11 and 30. Yeah, 11 and 30. What about overall record? 40, 44, 44, 38. 38. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> uh, regular season is regular season. It is what it is. Uh, we had our struggles. We don't make much of it. We didn't come into this series like, man, we got one on the road. We came into this series like, we need to win one on the road. Whatever that is, if that's game one, two, five, or seven, we need to do it. We did it. Put ourselves in a position to only have to do it once and then let it slip at home and have to come do it again. But at no point was our mindset like, man, you think we can win on the road? Like, we know what we're made of. We know uh, what it takes to win in these type of environments, in these situations, and we lean on that. Jayvon, we, uh, you know, you've mentioned the last dance without getting into any of that, that stuff in terms of the future. There is a sense that you know, it seems like the rest of the league is kind of trying to turn the page on all you guys, right? The Warriors, LeBron. Like every time I'm down there, we ask him, "How do you? How are you still doing this at 38?" Like, and now it's you two guys again. Is it? Yeah. Does it? Is, how are you guys still in this position? And against, especially against him. Well, I think number one, you're talking about some of the ultimate competitors. Uh, LeBron is one of the ultimate competitors. Steph, Clay, myself, Bloom, um, 
ultimate competitors. And so to have these opportunities, we don't take for granted. I think, uh, you know, who you are as a professional show during these times. Here we are um, eight years later from the first time we met in a playoff series and still playing at that level. That's special. It says a lot. It says a lot about who you are as a pro and how serious you take this, how, um, <clears throat> how you appreciate this game. And I know um, I speak for all the guys I just mentioned when I say the appreciation for the game and for the stage, you know, for the lights. Like, I was talking on my podcast the other day after game five, I think it was. Uh, just like that feeling that you get playing in these type of environments, like they, it, it can't be replicated. It's like, like it's goosebumps, man. Like you, you, this is what you prepare for, for these moments. And this series against the Lakers is gonna be epic. You got Steph, you got Bron doing it all over again. We've never played against the Lakers in a playoff series. We get to experience that. Um, I mean, it's, it's a ton of little things going on, but uh, what I will say is, stop trying to turn the page on us so fast. Stop trying to turn the page on Brian so fast. We get so caught up in what's the next thing that we don't appreciate the, the current. And then you get to the next thing and looking back like, man, I wish we still had that. I wish we could still see this. So for me um, and, and our guys, we're going to appreciate this every step of the way and continue to appreciate it, but also put ourselves in the best position we can to be successful. And you go from there and you live with those results, under, uh, knowing that the work has already been put in. Yes, you have to continue to prepare day in and day out, but the work has been put in, and that's why we're here. You continue to re rely on that and lean on it. Draymond, what, what do you make of Steph when, when he starts sort of interacting with the crowd and, and saying things to the crowd and motioning to the crowd? And, and to, you mentioned the atmosphere here. Um, what's it take for, for a star player to have that type of performance and that type of atmosphere? Uh, just laser focused. Uh, he knew everything that he wanted to get to versus their defense, and he got to it. Uh, he actually missed a couple shots that he, that he probably would love to get back and still have the night that he had. Uh, but it takes a special person to show up in an environment like that and do uh, what Steph did, um, you know, that's why you get paid the big bucks. That's why you are who you are. That's why he's top 75 greatest players and two-time MVP. That's why, because you, no matter what the environment is, you show up in a major way and you carry whatever it is that you have to carry. Um, <clears throat> we're all lucky that we're living during a time when we get to experience it and appreciate some of the greatest sports ever played, uh, some of the greatest matchups the, the world has ever seen. Um, I have a strong appreciation for it as a competitor. I have a strong appreciation for it as a player. Draymond, you guys faced a lot of adversity this series. You guys suspended. What did you learn about yourself and your teammates? I learned nothing about me. I'm pretty, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty in tap in tune with myself um, and every team is different you know every team um, yes some of the pieces are the same but every team is different and I think in that game three we really learned how to stick together how to band together around something one thing and push forward and I thought that was huge for this group but like you said it's a group who's faced a lot of adversity but you only face a real adversity when you are expected to do great things um, there were a ton of teams this year with more adversity than us, but no one expects them to do anything, so then you just don't talk about it. Um, we enjoy that pressure. We enjoy those lights. Uh, you appreciate it. I told the guys before the game tonight, like, we put ourselves in a position to play in one of the highest pressure situations that you can be in. Embrace it. And that's how we try to attack every day. Draymond, uh, it's rare that you face a team that wants to play as fast, if not faster than you. It looked like a couple times tonight. Mark said we was old. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a couple times tonight you had the opportunity to run and you maybe slowed down a little bit. It looked like sometimes when you closed out, you took a couple take fouls, kind of slowed the game down. Was that part of the game plan, to slow down a little bit? Uh, I didn't, uh, no, I didn't necessarily take a take foul to close out and slow them down. Now uh, You take the, the foul so they don't get in the paint and then kick out to the other side. Now you get her shooting it. You get Murray shooting it. You get all of those guys shooting it. And so I think... 
you know, being a little more strategic about how they're getting into our paint and what that causes. Um, and then as far as slowing it down on the offensive end, when you see something that works, you'd be a fool not to stick with it. And, you know, when, when Steph gets the ball and he slow it down, he, he's trying to get to something. And every time we did it, we got to what we wanted to get to. And so um, we ran when the opportunity was there. But, you know, if it's not there, let's slow it down and get a great look, the looks that we know we can get to, and, and that was good for us. Great. Thank you, Jeffrey.